Hey, you know how all these NoCo Boost and other jump pack reviews, they all start out with the features, and then the guy says, hey, I think it'll work. Well, we're not doing that in today's video. We're actually gonna start a Ram 1500 Limited with the e-torque motor with this. So welcome back to the channel, my friend. <laughs> uh, we're doing things differently, but my battery is dead. Let's take a look. My truck got nothing going on. So we're gonna fire this thing up and see if it works. And of course it's raining out. Got our multimeter here. I'm gonna try to show it to you, show you what the battery's doing, what the voltage is anyway. There it is, 2.6 volts, 2.5 volts. Got a drain somewhere in the system. So now we're gonna plug in our uh, our new NoCo Boost 1500. There's not a lot of great places to put the camera here. Hey, there you can see it pretty good. Okay, all right. So we're gonna attach our clamps. These are really strong clamps, by the way. I like them quite a bit. We're gonna power on the unit. It's showing three lights. And I have the key in my pocket. <laughs> Nothing. I'm gonna have to wait a few minutes and then we'll try again. Oh, there we go. I pushed the, I held the red button. Let's try it now. Aha! It comes on. Ten point two volts already. Okay. All right, let's see what this thing's doing. Still trying. I might should have read the instruction manual first, but hey, this is Red Reality where I don't do things the right way. Nice. I love it when a plan comes together. Now it was only at three bars, now it's at one. So I'm gonna have to charge it up. Now what I think is happening is I've got an intermittent parasitic drain somewhere that's causing, the, uh, causing a leak in the battery, if you will and that's leading to occasionally not starting. So now it's charging, let's check the voltage. 14.5, that's what I'm used to seeing. But we got all sorts of check engine lights now. Come on, raise the truck back up. I don't know why, oh, cause it was at the bottom, yeah. That was an interesting sound. I heard a release of air, but it's interesting to see 14.5 volts that's what it's supposed to be charging to. 
when it runs normally. It takes time for a lot of this stuff to calibrate. In fact, if you leave it for a day after putting a new battery in, apparently all the features come back. It'll test itself out. Like right now, we don't have, right now we don't have Sirius. Yeah, so it, oh, and you know what? It, it figures it's on a different level. Now, I turned it off. Let's go to accessory. Oh yeah, it's dead. See, nothing. So as you can see, the alternator's working fine, but the battery won't hold a charge. As soon as I kill it, it's gonna be done. This guy's still spinning. We'll turn it off. Disconnect it. And then as soon as I... Boom, done, that's it, kaput. The running board doesn't even come back in. Well, looks like I need a new battery, but the NOCO Boost is going to keep me out of trouble, hopefully. So as you can see here, it has an input, USB micro, I think it is, but it uses an included charging cable. And then it has a USB out, USB A, so you can charge your devices. On the other end of the device, you see connections for the alligator clips. And the alligator clips that come with it are very strong. And then it has a flashlight with many different modes. So you have several brightnesses and then different strobes. And it comes with a fabric case, but I decided to buy a fancier hard case for it because it's going to live here in my center console. Yep, this truck is being problematic with batteries. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick review and look at the NOCO Boost GB50 if you want to buy one. and. So far I can say I recommend it because even on a low charge, it still starts my truck. I will leave a link to Amazon in the video description below. It's an affiliate link. If you buy it through that, you're helping the channel out. Maybe you're helping me buy a new battery. Hmm, did you ever think about that? Yeah, clicking those affiliate links helps somebody. Anyway, I will leave you with the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, do something nice for yourself every day. John out.